Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. An amazing day, a beautiful day, and one I am so, so privileged to celebrate. My mum's amazing birthday. Now she's on a milestone birthday this year. I'm not going to share it because that's her business, not mine. At the end of the day, people, it is only a number, but one we should be proud of, but one which we shouldn't let determine us, and it shouldn't let us be defined of what we can't do, only by what we can do. Okay, so with that said, my mum is my absolute world. Um, she really, really is. She's absolutely everything to me. She's a best friend. She's my solid rock in difficult testing situations. My parents, I've been absolutely blessed with. My mum and my dad, um, they're my role models in life and uh, they're everything I aspire to be and more. Um, just the incredible things they've done, their relationship, um, how they've gone from building their life and building their family and through their love that myself and my three brothers exist and now there's nieces and nephews and they have lovely grandchildren and they have so many amazing memories and so many trips and adventures. Of course every family has different things go on but the one thing which always stands in my mind is that mum and dad always stand strong, they get through it and they're always there, they're always there to help, support, they give everything, their heart out of their body for their family. My mum, very much the person who I run to all the time. I think we all do in my family. And then my father, absolutely I do. Um, my father is a little bit more regimental, uh, is a little bit more, my father had a very long career in the Royal Navy. Um, and that has stuck. Um, but I include my mum and my dad in absolutely everything in my life. And as I say, I'm so blessed. And I'm so privileged to call them mum and dad and they are my best friends. Um, Mum for me is the person who, if I'm feeling something or if I'm not feeling quite right or if I'm feeling unwell, I don't even need to say it. My mum knows. And if it's sort of things where life advice or where I'm going or one thing or another, it's dad. And then sometimes it mixes who I go to. Um, and very often it's together, basically in the lounge, having a glass of something, putting the world to rights, telling them what I want to do telling the plans of my life, where I want my life to be, what I'm doing, what's not going right, mum and dad, listening, heart on sleeve conversation, they put me back on the right road, they get me there, um, and yeah, just a magical, magical, wonderful bond, and I'm absolutely privileged. My mum, absolutely, if I haven't said it enough, she is my absolute world. Um, her birthday, I we've, we've done something, we've done all sorts of lovely things. Um, my mum has actually gone on a holiday now, my father, some lovely quality time away. Um, and they are in Cyprus. A lot of my subscribers will know that Cyprus is very dear to my family. Um, so for me, I took my mum out for a lovely meal, just mum and I, which was absolutely lovely. We had such a laugh and lovely pictures. And mum um, was looking for, uh, she wanted her hair done. So I, I found a different real top hairdressers and I treated her and paid all for that. And that looked absolutely stunning. And mum is a very, very glamorous lady. And that just polished things off to where she wanted her head to be. It already, it already looked amazing, but um, it was really lovely to treat mum for that for her birthday. I actually bought mum um, a diamond uh, bracelet um, and I bought her some dresses which she liked and um, and some perfume, one thing and another, and that was just amazing. And I absolutely uh, loved, loved that. I love spoiling people if I can. Of course, it's not always possible because of course this life is an expensive one, let's be honest, and there's all sorts of things going on. But if I can, um, for us all, of course, that's not just for me. Um, life is not easy. And especially when you're trying to save for a property and you're trying to um, do education things in the background, um, it's possible, but you've just got to get it right. Uh, and the thing is, sometimes I may cut back on different things for myself and I may spoil others, especially around birthday and especially around Christmas. Um, but I always like to think we have one life, we have one family. It doesn't have to be expensive. It can just be giving somebody your time, giving somebody the time to enjoy them as that that bond you treasure. Um, we all say it, don't we, for our parents, but how often do we take the time to enjoy and to treasure and to cherish? And that I really do make sure I do with my parents. Um, I love spending time with mum and dad. Um, I love going on holidays with them. I love just going into a local town with my mum and having lunch and having a bit of a browse and treating her and then she will me. And and yeah, and I love spending time with my father in the garden and, and having a chat and advice and in sort of where I want my life to be. And after that, my, I always say my dad is my oak tree um, because he's he's solid, rooted. Um, he always knows it's the strength, he's the stability in our family. Um, 
and I always say that whenever they're away or, or anything like that at all, um, the house feels heartless, it feels empty about my mum, um, and it's just, it's just so blank and, and bleak um, in the family home and, and the family in general. Um, and with dad around, you always know that everything's going to be okay. So with mum, it's the heart and soul of the family and the home. And, and with dad, you know that everything's going to be okay when they're around. And together, it's just the perfect match and the perfect pair. This year, they've celebrated 40 years of uh, marriage. Um, and yeah, it's just, uh, uh, if I am half the person my mum or dad um, are, um, then I will be successful. They truly mean the world to me. My mum was supported with all sorts of lovely gifts, and um, it's a bit strange that she's not actually here. It's her birthday today. Um, but but mum is so devoted to her family. She is the most beautifulest person. She has a heart of gold. She gives a heart of her body. She will always, always see to everybody else first than herself last. And that's why I really like to spoil and go to town on gifts and things and, and little luxuries here and now and again and treats when I can um, for my parents. Um, yeah, they're my role models in this in this world. Growing up, I was very blessed with a, a very privileged upbringing and different travels and adventures and in the top this and the top that. And But you know what? It hasn't been gifted to us in this family. My parents have worked really hard together and that's what I'm so proud of. And I hope to replicate that with my own young family real soon and my first property and things. Um, I look at them and I just smile and I feel that warmth. And, and absolutely, there are storms in everybody's life and family, aren't there? But they pass. And it's that bond, that's connect, that connection, what gets you through troubled times and difficult times, whether it be health, whether it be the odd quarrel, whether it be things which are thrown our way in this life. I mean, faith is very, very much, it's my guiding light in this life. And my parents on that parent table is my dear Nan as well. She was the second mum to me. Um, and sadly, I lost my Nan on the 31st of May, 2021. Um, and I feel for my mum for that, because the bond they shared, um, just being in the presence of that, I was always in awe. It was such a beautiful, very warm and sunshiny bond. And um, I was very blessed with family, my parents, my Nan. Um, and you know what? I just... It's, it's all just, you know, when you've got somebody magical and wonderful and lovely in your family and you just want to shout from the rooftops. And some days, you know, sometimes we, I think we're all guilty of that, that we can sometimes forget just how important that person is and just how precious this life is. And that it isn't a constant. It's not forever. And it is up to us to value, make the most of, to love, tell that person how much they mean. And, um... And I intend to do that. So this birthday, my dear mum, you're my absolute best friend. You're a role model I look up to in my life. I absolutely love you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, have a very, very wonderful trip. And I hope you look back on this and you've had a really, really wonderful time. I hope you had an amazing birthday. I love you so much. Everybody in the family loves you so much. You are valued for the incredible person you are not just for how much you do in this family and how much you hold this family together. Um, and I love you. I really, really do. You are my absolute world. And I'm so proud of yours and dad's bond and relationship. And as parents, I couldn't be more prouder. And today, mum, on your special, special day, with love always. And thank you for being so incredible. I love you so, so much. God bless. And thank you very much for sharing that with my subscribers. Um, thank you, sorry, for allowing me to, to share that with my subscribers. Um, and for everybody who's watching, um, hold those closest to you. Yes, absolutely. But make sure you love them, tell them and enjoy them. And if it's a day like your mum's birthday or your dad's birthday or your nan or your uncle, or your grandfather or, or whoever it is, who is your absolute world, it doesn't have to cost the earth to spoil somebody. Spoil them with your love, with your time. Make it known that you love them. Thanks very much. Until next time, I'll be seeing you real soon. Take great care. God bless.